Okay, so in this video I'm going to be talking about a bit more complicated equations. Uh, so in the previous video I showed you how to do basic equations in latex, but this time I'm going to be talking about, say, integral signs, fractions, brackets, just, just how to deal with that kind of thing. Alright, so, okay, so continuing on from the previous video, um, although you don't need to know the previous video stuff, I want to start off by saying begin a line. Uh, yep and then have an end line in there. So, okay, let's let's start off by saying, let's, let's start off with the Greek letters, right? So theta, phi, and so on. Uh, you just really need to type it in, simply need to type in slash. Uh, remember to use the, the slash and then start typing in theta, right? Now, if you, if for example, um, it's phi, and you really want to use the capital phi, all you need to do is use the capital P instead of uh, simple p, and that will give you the capital phi in Greek letters, all right? Uh, the integral sign goes slash int, okay? Now, suppose you want to integrate from 0 to infinity. So what you do is, for 0, you go under, underscore 0, and then to the power of slash infinity, all right? So there's two INFs, one's slash INF and the other's I infinity in infty use that one okay because the other one literally just writes inf it's a bit strange but anyway okay so let me just compile this and i'll just show, show you what it looks like so i'll just write dz over there right um f1 7 okay so my capital phi phi in greek letters is equal to that okay so coming back to this let me it's, okay, let's put some other stuff in the inside the integral sign. Um, I'll put simple phi. Now, just remember to write slash phi because otherwise um, the equation will think that's just a, just a word and type it in. All right, so phi as a function of z. This is just a random equation. I have no idea what it, what it is. Uh, this just to illustrate to what what goes on. Okay, and then. And then, uh, so it's frac, so so that I can show you fractions. So now fractions, the first one is the, t the numerator, the second one is the denominator, so fairly self-explanatory. Um, and suppose you want a fraction on a fraction, which is not usual thing to do, you should simplify to one single fraction, but I'll show it to you anyway. Um, G of Z on F of Z. Okay, so the first fraction is the numerator, the second fraction is the uh, denominator. All right, so let's just, before it gets a bit too complicated, let's just show what, what it looks like. All right, so there you go. So I have a fraction on a fraction. Now just notice, oh, here I have the simple simple phi in Greek letters. Um, that's because if I go back to my code, I wrote, uh, I wrote it with a simple p for the phi. Okay, and then, and then this can go on forever. Um, now, another thing that you might have to deal with is probably uh, uh, brackets. So, uh, so suppose I have a complicated, complicated e equation that goes exponential off. Now, you can open brackets like this. And sorry, with exponential, it's it's a really good idea to write slash exponential because you'll see the formatting changes with exponential uh, slightly when you do slash exp. Okay, I'll, I'll let you figure that out. If you just write exp in normal, normal formatting, which is italic, slash exp, I'll let you uh, do that as exercise. But anyway, um, let's start, write something complicated, like a fraction. Fraction of f of, uh, f of z on g of z. z, g of x, sure. Um, and then I'll close the brackets. Now, when I compile this, when I compile this, what you're going to see is this ugly brackets, which doesn't quite um, engulf this entire entire bit in the middle. So if you want to do that, what you should do is, instead of writing left bracket like this, you should write slash left. All right, so left for left bracket, and then you'll, you'll see this thing. All right, so anyway, I don't want a double bracket there, I'll do that one. Same thing for the right bracket, you write slash right, and then there you go. I'll just make sure you don't have a double bracket over there. Uh, now. Now the, the default that comes up is the wrong bracket, so make sure you s uh, just tap tap down to to get the correct right bracket that you want. Now once I do this, it should come up with a proper bracket. 
Okay, so 